What specific problem does the Reka model's core, flash, edge aim to solve in language and vision tasks? The Reka model's core, flash, edge aim to solve the problem of advancing the state of the art in language and vision tasks by providing powerful and efficient models that excel in both automated base model evaluations and blind third-party human evaluations. Specifically, these models are designed to outperform models much larger than them in terms of parameters, such as GPT-4 volts and Gemini Ultra, while approaching or surpassing the performance levels of top frontier models like GPT-4 and Claude 3 series on various benchmarks including MMLU, GSM-8K, HumanEval, and GPQA. In addition, the Reka models are focused on improving multimodal capabilities, as demonstrated by their performance on multimodal chat evaluations where they outperform models like Claude 3 Opus and Sonnet. Overall, the Reka models are developed to be extremely powerful and competitive on a compute class basis, showcasing their strength in handling complex language and vision tasks efficiently and effectively. How does the Reka models work in training large multimodal models? Illustrate step by step. The Reka models work in training large multimodal models by first ingesting a mixture of publicly available and proprietary datasets, including text, images, videos, and audio clips. The training data for Reka Flash and Reka Edge consists of approximately 5 trillion and 4. 5 trillion extensively deduplicated and filtered language tokens, respectively. The dataset includes a variety of content, with approximately 25% being code-related, 30% STEM-related, 25% web crawl data, and 10% math-related. Additionally, about 15% of the pre-training data is deliberately multilingual, with 32 diverse languages weighted by frequency. The models are trained using a curriculum that progresses through multiple stages, with different mixture distributions, context lengths, and objectives. The architecture of the models is based on a modular encoder-decoder architecture that supports text, image, video, and audio inputs, with the backbone transformer model utilizing SWE glue, grouped query attention, rotary positional embeddings, and RMS norm. The models are trained with BFLOAT16 and have a context length of 8K for regular models, while long context models like Reka Flash and Reka Core have 128K for tasks requiring retrieval and handling long documents. The training process involves synthetic creation of supervised fine-tuning data using a technique called reverse instruction tuning from long documents. The models are trained predominantly on NVIDIA H100s using PyTorch, with clusters from various vendors and peak compute of approximately 2, 5K H100s and 2.5K A100s. The training process is optimized for quality, diversity, and scale, with a focus on improving I.O. performance using the Ceph file system for distributed and scalable data storage. Overall, the Reka models are trained meticulously on diverse and extensive datasets, utilizing advanced architectures and training techniques to achieve state-of-the-art performance in training large multimodal models. What are the theoretical or practical benefits of using Reka models compared to other models in the same compute class? The theoretical and practical benefits of using Reka models compared to other models in the same compute class lie in their superior performance across a range of language and vision tasks. The Reka models, including Core, Flash, and Edge, demonstrate state-of-the-art capabilities within their respective compute classes, often outperforming larger models. For example, Reka Core approaches the performance levels of GPT-4V on various benchmarks and surpasses models like Claude 3 Opus and Sonnet on multimodal chat human evaluation. Reka Flash and Edge also excel, with Flash outperforming models like GPT-3. 5 Turbo and Mistral Medium, and Edge surpassing Gemma 7B and Mistral 7B. These results showcase the efficiency and effectiveness of Reka models in achieving competitive performance with fewer parameters, making them more computationally efficient and cost-effective compared to other models in the same compute class. Additionally, the Reka models are designed with advanced architecture features such as SWE glue, 
grouped query attention, and RMS norm enhancing their modeling capabilities and overall performance. Overall, The RECA models offer a compelling combination of high performance, efficiency, and cost effectiveness, making them a preferred choice for various language and vision tasks within their compute class. How were the RECA models validated or tested for their performance? The RECA models were validated and tested for their performance through comprehensive evaluations on language and vision tasks. The models were compared against proprietary large language models, LLM, APIs, benchmarking their performance using metrics like MMLU score. The evaluations included automated base model evaluations, blind third-party human evaluations, and comparisons against other frontier models like GPT-4V, Claude 3 models, Gemini Ultra, Gemma 7B, Mistral 7B, and more. The RECA core and flash models were evaluated on various benchmarks such as GSM-8K, HumanEval, GPQA, VQAV2, and MMMU. Additionally, the models underwent evaluations on text, only chat, multimodal chat, video question answering, and long context question answering tasks. The performance of the RECA models was assessed through blind human evaluations, comparing them with models like GPT-4, Claude 3, Gemini Pro, IDEFICS80B, Adept Fuyu 8B, and Java 1. 6B. The models were also tested on cross, lingual evaluations, medical reasoning tasks, and detailed comparisons against models of similar compute class. Overall, the RECA models were rigorously tested and validated across a wide range of tasks and benchmarks to demonstrate their state of the art performance. What results were achieved with RECA Core in comparison to other Frontier class models in language and vision tasks? RECA Core achieved competitive results in language and vision tasks compared to other Frontier class models. In language tasks, RECA Core approached the performance levels of GPT-4V on MMLU, VQAV2, and third-party multimodal chat evaluation. It surpassed all Claude 3 models, Opus Sonnet, Haiku, on multimodal chat human evaluation. In video question answering, both Reka Flash and Core outperformed Gemini Ultra. On language benchmarks, Reka Core achieved competitive scores in MMLU, GSM-8K, Human Eval, and GPQA compared to other Frontier models. In text-only chat, Reka Core outperformed GPT-4 and ranked third on the internal ELO leaderboard. Additionally, Reka Core performed well in blind human evaluations, surpassing Gemini Pro 1. 5 on several benchmarks but falling behind on GPQA and MMMU. Overall, Reka Core demonstrated strong performance in both language and vision tasks, positioning itself as a state of the art model in its compute class. What are the limitations or drawbacks of the Reka Edge and Flash models in practical applications? The limitations or drawbacks of the RECA Edge and Flash models in practical applications include the need for significant computational resources due to their dense nature with 7B and 21B parameters, respectively. This can make deployment and inference challenging, especially for applications with limited computational capabilities. Additionally, the training data for these models comprises a mixture of publicly available and proprietary licensed datasets with a dataset knowledge cutoff of November 2023, which may limit the model's ability to adapt to newer or evolving data trends beyond that time frame. Furthermore, the model's performance may vary depending on the specific task or domain, as evidenced by their mixed outcomes when compared to other models in different benchmarks. Another drawback is the reliance on multilingual training data, which may not fully capture the nuances of all languages and could lead to suboptimal performance in certain linguistic contexts. Lastly, the model's performance improvements are still ongoing, indicating that there may be room for further enhancements and refinements to address any existing limitations.